All right, guys, this is a video I wanted to put together in relation to a GPS issue I found I was having with my Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge. Basically, I would go for runs and the Fitbit app and a few others were not tracking GPS mapping very well at all. Now, I looked around and I finally found a little article on how to fix it, but then there was no video. So I thought, you know what, I'll put a video together to help people find out or basically how to fix this issue. It comes down to a calibration thing. If you go into your phone, then dial star hash zero, star hash, oh, there we go, I did that at the same time, zero again, I think I only have to do the hash. You get into this uh, calibration mode here, click on sensor up the top, and you'll get this screen. Now right down the bottom here is the magnetic sensor. At the moment, I've just reconfigured mine, so it's got a blue line with a three. When, if your phone is not cali calibrated correctly, you'll have a red line and the number one. Now, as you can see, this little circle down here has a red line on it and a number one. Now, when you miss, move your phone around and as you tilt it, that is pointing towards north. So to fix this issue, you have to go through the calibration mode. Now, the calibration mode, you can just sit here like this, and I'll zoom out so you can see. You just have to put your phone through all the different axes. So you go, oh, yep, go this way for a few go this way for a few you know the the, I, the apple actually does a uh, figure eight but i found that the samsung wants to do these three axes that one that one and this one now i just pressed a button now what have i got now i'm still on a one now i found that while i'm talking to you guys i'll keep going i found that i had to do this for almost five minutes to get it to work and you just keep going and as you go oh geez what have i pressed there Press the wrong button, there we go. I've pressed something else, there's quite a few little different sensors on there. But this is basically what you do. You have to go through doing this, it just did something else. No, still on one. I've got a red line and one. Basically do this for a few minutes and you will then get a two and another color line, I think. But what you need to do is you need to keep doing it until you get a three and a blue line. And once you do that, then your GPS will be substantially, like basically exactly accurate. However, when the phone resets, you need to, ah, that's why, because I reset my phone last night. You need to redo this. Oh my goodness, I'm still on one, this is killing me. All right, now I've gone to a green two. Now I just need to get it to a blue three. done okay so that took substantially quicker than it did last time so I don't know if you guys can see it there but it's now got a blue line and the number three just there now the one other place I'll show you where you can do this the other alternative is if you then home back out go 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 all the way back out you can set up uh, let me just find it here in off the edge you can also set up the uh, compass on this edge screen and down the bottom is a calibrate button. Press that and it will take you through the same type of uh, situation where you need to move the phone through those three axes. If you do that long enough, and trust me it can take up to like five minutes, it will then come up with this and it will fix that calibration issue.